states of consciousness. That's what I want to discuss in this video, something I've been going over in my own life and going into meditation and just observing my own inner dialogues and seeing what's happening in my own mind because I can kind of determine what's going to happen next in my life just by simply observing my inner dialogue through meditation, just, you know, a non-judgmental evaluation of my inner dialogue and see what, what's happening next, what's coming next. And sometimes I can predict the future that way because as we know, we're living in a simulation. It's all being created from within us and then pushed out, you know, into the screen of space, kind of like, you know, like a movie. If you go to a movie theater and you're sitting in the movie, there's a projector behind you and it's projecting onto this, you know, the screen in front of you, the movie's being played there, but really you are the, you are the projector. We are the projectors and um, on the screen of space. So you can kind of like, if you are the projector, you can see what movie's gonna be played like before it's played, you know, you already know, you know, what's about to happen. And as I start to, to have this, this, this inner um, talking with myself and, you know, this non-judgmental observations of my inner dialogues, I can kind of see where my life is headed. And I wanted to get in, I wanted to get into this because I was doing this before um, and I was living, I was living in a, uh, my old house. And before I even decided to move, I was already automatically picturing myself, you know, living in a new house with a pool and a uh, big, big backyard sitting on, a, you know, an acre and a half, you know, um, just a beautiful, you know, spot, you know, it was secluded from everyone else, but like two or three minutes from the beach. That way, if I, you know, if I want to go to the beach, I can just jump in a car, drive to the beach and be there in, you know, a couple minutes, or I can just jump in the pool. And I noticed that my inner dialogue was already seeing this and creating these pictures in my mind and doing this. And it was from visualizations that I've done, but this was more of like a, just an automatic part of my own evolution of my states of consciousness. And that's why I wanted to make this video because once you get to a certain point with changing your, your concept of yourself and changing the mindset and the habitual thinking patterns and your inner dialogues, you're going to be advancing, you know, and, and manifesting new things to come into your life automatically. And, and it's so important to understand this. And if you're not automatically advancing and you're having to micromanage all of your manifestations, it means that you haven't successfully changed your concept of yourself into the person that you now want to be. Because a lot of times I've already, well, I've already changed my self concept or my concept of myself into some, into someone and much more successful than I am right now. And that's, and that's what I'm getting at. I just haven't completely got into the natural feeling of all of that yet, but it's all transitioning and my world is shifting and reflecting that back to me. And that's where my inner dialogue is going now. You know, it's, it's just bringing more and more and more things to me until it lines up with my concept of self that I've created. And that was through years of visualization, years of creating a new concept of myself. Like while I was in prison, always seeing myself as someone better, always doing the best that I can and, and just redesigning my mind and slowing it down, cleaning out all the weeds and all the pollution and becoming more childlike while I'm doing that. The way I can accept these new ideas and these new feeling states and you know, just closing down the analytical mind. That way I can really address the situation in my, with myself. But I did this for so long and creating this, all this new concept of myself. And now the world is now just showing me that and, and automatically attracting these new things to you. And as, and, and the more that I experience manifestation and the further I go with it, the more that I understand how it works. And that's why I want to target more. And I want to make this video that way everyone can start targeting rather than just targeting material possessions and seeing yourself having all these different things to start creating a new version of yourself, the concept of yourself that, you know, that has all of these things or should have all these things like, like creating this identity of yourself that has taken all the labels off of hard work and discipline, all these different things, taken all the labels off of and made their lives, um, and turn their lives into something where hard work is now easy for you. It's no longer hard work and it never should have been hard work. It's actually just the enjoyment and the process of life. That's the label that should be on all this stuff. And that's the new concept of yourself that you develop. And as you develop that concept of self, you're doing all of these things and people are asking you, how are you doing all the, how are you doing all these things and accomplishing all these things? And you just, I just say, I'm just, 
enjoying the process of everything. And this is just who I, who I am and what I do. And I actually enjoy everything about it, you know, everything about it. And they, and they try to tell me, they say, well, I tried to make, you know, create a YouTube channel or try to create that business that you created. And I just, you know, it was such hard work. I had to do this. I had to, you know, I had to work eight hours a day just trying to come up with an idea and then shoot the video, then edit it and then go back and then redo it. And I say, well, that sounds interesting to me. That sounds like fun. Uh, the whole process of that, you, you, you have to be in a, that state of gratitude. And, and Neville Goddard said this best. He said, if you're in the, the most simple and easy way to manifest great things to come into your life is simply by being grateful for in the moment or being in your wish fulfilled or being, you know, having gratitude right now or being in your, in your fulfilled moment. And that's the same exact thing. There is no difference between the two and enjoying that process of actually creating something like a like a brand or a channel or a new business or just doing, or even moving into a new house where everyone's like, oh, this is such hard work. The whole process of that is just, I'm just so um, consumed with gratitude and appreciation of just being able to do those things. I don't know if that's just because I was in prison for so long and I had to, you know, in prison is just, Everything is negative and you have to design your mind to see it as positive when everything's negative around you. And I just developed this entire mindset around this. But it's just everything that I do now, whether that's, you know, cleaning the pool or cleaning the house, doing dishes or doing my laundry, all this, all this stuff's enjoyable to me. Like I find gratitude in all of those things. Just having the ability to do those things. I lived nearly a decade with not even being able to do that kind of stuff, you know, for me, for myself, I wasn't able to do all this stuff that I can do now. And then now, and now that I can actually do this stuff myself, I'm like, I have so much gratitude for it. And then people will kind of want to say, they want to feel bad for me for being in prison so long. But really that was like, that was like a, tr my training process for my mind to get to this whole entire new level that I'm at now. And I'm like so grateful for that. Otherwise, I mean, and I shifted my entire personality. Like before I went to prison, I wasn't grateful for anything in my life. Absolutely nothing. And, and even when I, you know, I had some nice things here and there. But I just, I, I wasn't grateful for it. I had a nice house. I had a car. I had a boat, you know, jet skis. And, but I was never grateful for any of it. And the, and the process that I went through going to prison, it was just like all of that was just stripped and taken from me. And I was surrounded by negativity, negative people, negative environment, 24 hours a day. So I had to redesign my mind to look at negative things in a positive way. And I figured out that that is essentially what I teach now. And this is why people were kind of attracted to me when I developed my channel, because they could feel how genuine I was and how grateful that I was to be able to even have a phone to where I could make a video and connect with this many people, you know, with thousands of people, just being able to have that opportunity I was grateful for. And I'm in that wish fulfilled as I'm creating the content, you know, I'm so grateful for being able to do that. And then that resonates and that frequency, you know, was just connecting with so many people because they, you know, most people, they want to have that and they see that and they want to connect with that type of person. And that's what I want. And that's, that's basically, or essentially the focal point of my entire channel, you know, through visualization, creating a new concept of yourself, um, you know, positive thinking, you know, doing all these different things to develop your, your mindset to start to change it because, because the world is us pushed out. And as you change the world within everything on the outside changes, you know, and it's just amazing the way that I had to go through all of those different things in order to be come or to figure all this out. But now I was able to create a, a, a YouTube channel and now I'm able to teach people so they don't have to go through what I had to go through in order to learn that. And I don't think that you, you have to go through that stuff. If you're watching this and you follow my YouTube channel, and, and follow everything and, and do the techniques and, and you follow all the books and everything that I'm teaching, you won't have to go through that. You can train yourself to, to change your mindset in order to get to that level without having to go through what I had to go through. And I believe that, you know, it's, it's through the Bible, you know, that's why some of the great apostles and, and some, some of the greatest people in the Bible, 
you know, went to prison, you know, they, they had to go to prison and they came out, you know, disciples, you know, and just tremendous people, you know, central figures of the Bible. Even though most of it's symbolic, I do believe that the, that's the, the centerfold of that is to understand that that's the breakdown of it, you know, and what I got out of that. And, and they had to go through that in order to teach other people what they had learned. And, and that's why I'm so grateful to be able to teach what I'm teaching. And, um, but essentially when you can, you, you, when you can change your mindset to be appreciative and grateful for everything that you do, including the hard work, which isn't hard, you can get into that concept of self. You will, you, you're in such a high frequency all the time that no matter what you're creating, you're going to be successful at. And, and that's like the, the focal point of this video is that when you're in a state of gratitude, you're going to be in such a high frequency that no matter what you creating, it's going to be, you're going to be a magnetic that even if there's a business over here, that's better than you or a better, like there's plenty of better speakers than me that are on YouTube that have failed, that have never done well. Okay. But I was able to surpass them. I was able to pass them by. It's because of the frequency that I'm on while I'm creating my brand, my content and teaching. Uh, people are attracted to that and it's just magnetic and anyone can do this by changing that mindset of being grateful and raising your frequencies up and whatever, even if it's not a brand, it's a business or whatever you're doing. If you're in that state of gratitude, whether you're working a nine to five, you're going to be running that place. You're going to be in management. You're going to be the general manager. You're going to buy the place out or you're going to grow into a level where you're going to create your own business and you're going to beat that business that you worked for. You're going to be so magnetic because everything you do is you're just going to be grateful for. And you're going to have such a high energy level and frequency that you're just going to draw all this, this abundance into your life. And it's just, it's just magnetic when you can, when you can find this gratitude at the bottom and train your mind for this. I know I've been rambling on for quite some time about this. I just really wanted to share it was on my mind and I just wanted to make a video on this because as you know, I enjoy making content. I'm just, I'm so grateful for being able to do that. And I want everyone to find that in, in everything that you do, not necessarily just creating a YouTube channel, but the job that you have now, the work, your family, the people that you love, the people that you're around every day, you know, you can put that frequency off for them. Start teaching your kids this, start teaching your loved ones this, start showing, don't even teach them that, just be that and they will see that and they'll want to, and that'll emulate, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll reflect back to you. They'll see the way that you're, the way that you're acting throughout your life. And they're going to start being that way just by not necessarily telling them you got to do this or you got to be grateful or, or you should be grateful. Don't even, you don't even have to say that. You just have to become that version of yourself and then go through your life that way around them. And they will see that and it'll be magnetic and they'll want to be like you. And that's, and that's another part of the law of attraction is that you don't, you don't force anything. You just become it. And other people, other things, other people, ideas, they see that. And then they're attracted to you and they become like you because they see they they're resonating with that frequency that you're on. And, um, so, and that's, that's huge for just becoming the new version of yourself. And then you become magnetic to whatever you're creating and everything's just going to be attracted to you because people are attracted to that, that higher frequency, like negativity cannot harm you. When I'm in flow state, you know, 24 hours a day, there's, I don't see negativity in, in flow state. I never see anything negative. And that's another part of me when I was in prison, everything was negative in there. So I had to design my mind to see everything negative as positive. So I trained my mind to, to be all, always in flow state, to be in these high frequencies where negativity cannot touch me. And I've just designed myself that way for so long that it's just become this version of me now. And I was able, now I'm able to give that to the world. I'm able to give that to you today. And I want you to, and every day, every day that I post, and I just, I want everyone to try to, you know, take what I'm telling you, you know, into your own life and start using that as application in your own life and to see what happens. I know a lot of you are already, already doing this and you're on the right road, but it, maybe there's a few of you out there that are, you know, going through your life right now and you're just seeing a lot of negativity and you're, and you're reacting to that negativity to start changing your mindsets 
start changing all that and start seeing it as positive and start and take the label off of it. Take the labels off of stuff. Take the label off negativity and put a positive label on that. Just replace it. You know, use affirmations, visualize, you know, and, and the mindset will change over time. It took me a while to do, but oh my gosh, I wouldn't change a thing. I would not change a thing. I love you all and DM me on Instagram. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.